Well, my story is much easier than what you just saw, I promise. I'm here to talk about, uh, if we can just start from the beginning. Okay. And um, so I'm here to talk about spaces, but I'm going to start with people. I think that um, we all react to people differently by, you know, according to the way they look, uh, the way they behave themselves, um, the way they walk. And um, so I took an example of uh, someone I dearly like, I dearly love. It's Charles Baudelaire. And that's an example of how someone looks. And the next one is Robin Williams. So uh, I think these people, uh, according to how they look, they, you will exchange uh, um, uh, energy with them very differently. Um, I think it's the same thing with spaces, which leads me to the next uh, picture. That's one space, and then the other one. So I think it's pretty clear that we react to people in the same way or similar way to the way we react to spaces. We share history uh, or we don't. Uh, we like the acoustics or we don't. We like the materials or we don't. Um, and um, so this is something that's very uh, uh, dear to me because I'm an installation artist. All my work is site-specific, so everything I do, I don't do in my studio and then move it somewhere. I do it according to something that already exists, mostly a building uh, or, you know, just a space or out outdoors, indoors, doesn't matter. I have to adapt to the space uh, where I'm going to work, so I'm very space-sensitive. Um, um, so when, when I'm brought to a, a certain space, and then perhaps we can move on to the next one, and the next one. I, I'm uh, here, this is a, a courtyard of a, of a palazzo in Italy that I'm working on, and uh, uh, it's a 18th century palazzo, it's, it's beautiful, and so I walk in there, and I'm like, okay, so what can I bring here? What can I, what can I do? Sometimes uh, the place, the space already has everything, there's not much I can do. Um, but uh, sometimes it's just about lighting, sometimes it's about bringing new materials that, you know, or simple materials that will work with those that already are here. Um, then, perhaps the next one. Uh, this is a fresco in a very, it was a very cold uh, and corporate environment, and so I wanted to bring nature, but of course I, you know, couldn't bring flowers, I couldn't bring anything, so I decided to go for a fresco. Uh, next one, maybe? Uh, yeah, this is an intervention that I did with a dear friend of mine, Arno Quinza, who's a fantastic artist in Miami, and um, we were able to uh, push the envelope a little farther on that one. Uh, next one, please. And uh, now I'm going to tell you about, you know, I just spoke about uh, the um, um, materials I like to work with, and wood is definitely uh, the one I feel for the most. Um, I enjoy the, the, the communication and the way the, uh, the wood feels and, and the interaction I have with the wood. Uh, the next important thing with me is lighting. Sometimes, like I said, uh, space already has everything. You don't have to do anything. You just have to bring a little bit of light so that people appreciate what the space already has. And then my third um, point of view, my third approach, my third uh, theory is how to experience a space from within. Uh, when I build something, I would like for you not to just walk away with an image, or not to just walk away with, um, uh, yes, it was nice, or I didn't like it, but I would like for you to experience it. So I try to create a space within a space, or I try to create an atmosphere by, by making this, this piece of art uh, englobing and surrounding you, so that, for example, you walk through it, or you walk within, or you walk around it, or it will be over you. Um, the, the, the best example of all these factors brought together, material, uh, uh, um, being able to walk within uh, music, light, and so forth, is the next slide. It's that... Uh, <laughs> so that was also a piece of work that I did with uh, Arne Quinze. I was just one of, you know, 20 Belgians uh, who lent a hand uh, in the sun. But it was really uh, a revelation for me of what 
um, the work of many people and uh, the work on one very space could bring as far as emotion is concerned. Next, uh, here we bring some light. And then the next slide, well, you don't see very well, but uh, it, it, it turned into an incredible disco at night and uh, uh, we had thousands of people in it. So we had um, this, this fantastic wood uh, plus uh, all the work that these you know, 25 people uh, had put into it, plus lighting, plus music, plus all the people that were in it and enjoying it incredibly. And um, I, to this day, have not lived something as, as strong as that. And, and being able to uh, relate to this uh, because I had worked on it made it even stronger for me. So, um, so now I would like to say a few words about how to bring this to your everyday life. Uh, theory of mine. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so, what, what can you do to, to bring emotion in your environment, in your own environment, in your own daily life? Um, I'm, like I said, I'm very space sensitive, you know, I, 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 I really, uh, I don't say I have a hard time feeling comfortable somewhere, but I would like to feel comfortable somewhere. Where every time I work, I work, some, work into some, somewhere, I'm like, okay, uh, I think the acoustics could be a little better, or, you know, if, if the light were a little like this, and so forth. And so I, I started, um, you know, when I, in my loft, at my place, I, uh, I never found the furniture I liked. Uh, it never talked to me very much. It doesn't talk to me very much to buy something that was made across the ocean, uh, that was packaged, repackaged, super packaged, and that traveled millions of miles before it got to me and so forth. So I just went to the, you know, nearby um, uh, lumber store and I, you know, bought pine wood, the same kind of very unprocessed wood, local wood that I, you know, that we use uh, for, you know, uh, um, uh, an artwork like this one. And I started building my own furniture, uh, my table, uh, just using simple thrustles, and then uh, my bookshelves out of art crates that were unused. And um, I, I, what I'm trying to say here is that it's, it's really, and you have to believe me, it's really not difficult. All you need is a saw, you need a drill, and you need a, you know, some wood, some of which you will find uh, uh, at any you know, uh, uh, corner store, uh, corner hardware store. The other thing is that it will bring a lot. It seems very little, but it will bring you a lot every day in your life because it's something that you have built. It's something that uh, you have put work into, and it's going gonna, it's gonna to bring this this work back to you. Uh, you will really exchange I mean, energy with the things that you have built around yourself. Like, um, I, I built a mezzanine in my place because I didn't want my bed here or there and so forth. It just didn't work out. So I, I built a mezzanine. Every day, walking up the stairs of that mezzanine which you built, is, it really brings you satisfaction. And the last thing, which I think is probably the, the, even the most important, is that you will learn something new. You will learn to communicate with the material. You will learn uh, something about yourself. You will learn what you're capable of. And you're, you're capable of like 10 times more, probably 100 times more than what you really think. And uh, so that all together uh, brings a lot of you know, uh, good and, and brings a lot of good in your life. Voilà.